cousins how are you guys doing i hope you guys are all well so in today's video we have got this soft glam makeup look with a little bit of pop of color i am honestly obsessed with how this makeup look turned out my chubby cheeks are showing and everything in this video is drugstore as well just to let you guys know the first couple minutes of today's video my lighting was a little bit off but I did fix it just so you guys know you guys might see a big difference in my lighting in the video so you guys are aware that that's gonna happen so without further ado if you guys are interested in how I got this look then please keep on watching hello beautiful people how are you guys doing today alhamdulillah I am feeling a lot better the other day I was feeling a little bit woozy but today I'm feeling a lot more better so I thought why not come on here and record today feels like a really good day the sun is shining but i know it's cold outside because i'm freezing look i got my hot water bottle <laughs> gotta keep warm i got my hot water bottle on my lap just to you know keep me warm because it's literally freezing but Nonetheless, it's still a good day. I'm feeling very bright, very, you know, awakened. Today's makeup look, I'm thinking subtle glam with a pop of color, but make it drugstore. Are we feeling that too? So we're gonna start off doing eyeshadow first, but before we do that, I'm gonna go with my Revolution Gold Hydrogel Hydrating Eye Patches. This really helps my under eye because I feel like it's a little bit dry right now because obviously I haven't been getting enough sleep. I never know if it's meant to be this way or like this part to be inwards it looks like it's meant to be like this right do you know what i mean like it looks like it's meant to be like this but who knows i wonder if it's like this for today if someone knows the right way please let me know down below i don't know if i'm wearing this right so i've got three eyeshadows that i've picked up for today's video i've got the she glam smart cookie palette and the makeup session in the neon jungle palette and i've got the makeup session belly jordan's palette as well but before we go in with our eyeshadow let's really go in and prime it i'm gonna be using my elf camo concealer this is actually in the shade deep cinnamon i'm just gonna blend that on and i'm using my morphe m173 brush that give us a nice even eyelid now let's see which palette to use i'm gonna start off using the she glam smart cookie palette i know this isn't drugstore but it's like dead cheap like dead cheap it's basically drugstore price but it's just not physically in a store so you guys can order it online so yeah i'm gonna use this palette so i'm gonna grab the shade brown sugar which is this shade right here and i'm grabbing my jess up 228 crease brush i'm just gonna press that right into my crease but work it up at the same time so to you guys sheen's products are so good like people are sleeping on them like granted it does take a while to get to you but like the products are so good so what we're gonna do is concentrate the color on the outer corner and whatever's left on the brush, we work it inwards. So that way it's not too intense in here. So now I'm just gonna grab the shade Devil's Food, which is like the dark brown shade in this palette. The only thing about Shein's products that I don't like is the names of them. They're just like not your ideal names that you want for makeup it's a little bit scary just putting this right into my crease again concentrating the colors on the outer corner of my eyes i'm going to tilt my head back so that i'm able to see my entire eyelid and i'm using a fluffy brush i can't tell you where i got this brush from because it has no name on it but it's just like a fluffy brush i'm going to use this b by super drugs brush and i'm going to grab this shade love chip just this shade right here and i'm going to use that to blend the two shades together i'm going to go right in the middle of those two shades and i'm just going to go in and just start blending any areas that i need to add some more colors or blend away i just go in accordingly to what i want i should just literally take me either five minutes to do or 20 minutes to do <laughs> sorry guys i just fixed my light i was thinking why i was looking so washed out earlier on it's because my other lights was on hopefully this is better but anyway back to the program i don't think i'm gonna use this makeup session 
Belly Jordan's palette. It's a gorgeous palette, but I just don't think it will go with this look. So I'm gonna use the Inner Neon Jungle palette. I wanna use this shade called Passion Flower, this hot pink shade. That's the shade I'm gonna use for my liner. For my lids, I don't want my lid to be too defined. I'm gonna go in with Chichi Cheerio and a little bit of Butter Me Up. And I'm just gonna pat that right onto my eyelid. No cut crease, no nothing, just literally straight on. So I want the eyelid to be quite soft. So I don't want it to be too defined. All right, so I picked up this paint brushes from Amazon. I actually got them for my nails, but I feel like this brush will be perfect to help me do my line with. Unfortunately, I do not have a coloured eyeliner, like a liquid one. All of mine dried up on me. The other ones I have is pencils. So I want to go with this brush. I'm going to use this to create a wing liner. I just scrap that. I'm not going to do a wing. I'm just going to do like a bold, thick line. And I'm just going to go in with Passion Flower from the in the neon jungle palette i'm just gonna pat that right oh that looks beautiful okay so i know it looks ugly right now but once i do my full face and my lashes is on baby it's about to look chef kiss and i feel like i'm gonna smoke out my lash line a little bit but for now, I'm gonna keep it like this and then we'll see where it takes us. So let's do our skin now. Let's take this off. Ooh. Oh yeah, my eyes feel super delicious. Oh, okay, so we need to prime this face and I'm gonna be using the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. I used this like two days ago and I am in love. <laughs> The foundation we'll be using in today's video is the L'Oreal True Match Plumping Tinted Serums. I've got this shade very deep and deep. I am a combination of both. So this is both foundation mixed in together. The foundation is really nice because it's like super lightweight, but it has coverage. I'm gonna use my Rutena BB brush to blend this out. You see that? Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Beloved. Okay, we love. So for concealer today, I am going to be using the Elf Camo Concealer, but this time in the shade Deep Chestnut. We use Dip Cinnamon for our lid, but we're going to use Deep Chestnut for our under eye. Do you guys count Morphe as affordable? Let me know down below because I count them as affordable. But if you guys don't, I'll stop using them in my drugstore slash affordable makeup. Because sometimes they do be having like expensive products. So it's like, are you really affordable or not? Like, are you an affordable brand or not? Let me know. I'm gonna go in with my Morphe 2 Hide and Peak Concealer in the shade Peak of Chestnut. I'm gonna use this just to help blend my concealer out so that it's not too scary, you know? So I'm just gonna put it on my chin as well, my upper lip. I'm just gonna go back in with my e.l.f. concealer and put it on top, like so. And of course, my new favorite thing to bronze with the e.l.f. Putty Bronzer in the shade Sunkist. From the moment I've used this product, uh, I feel sorry for you guys. I actually feel sorry for you guys because you guys will be seeing this in all my videos. Every single one. <laughs> this right now is my new jam. Like, love. And I'm using my Real Technique Sculpting Brush. Absolute delicious product. For cream blush, we're gonna be using the Revolution Super Dewy Liquid Blush in the shade Flushing For You. I'm just gonna grab a little bit of this on the back of my hand. Wow, that wasn't cute. I'm gonna use my ring finger and just tap it on. Is this the shade that I normally use? I don't think so. Scrap it, we're gonna be using the MUA Blushed Liquid Cream Blush in the shade Rogue Noir. This is my blush. This is my blush. I'm gonna use a brush because 
I cannot function. <laughs> I'm gonna add a little bit more concealer just right there. Okay, let's go in and start setting our cream products. To start off with, we're gonna use the Maybelline Fit Me Powder in the shade 350 Caramel. I am still under hunt to find get something new, but for now, she's the babe. And I'm gonna be using my Juvia's Place highlighting brush to set this in place. I swear to you guys, the moment I start setting my cream product, I can tell if the makeup's gonna be good or not. And today, I'm pleased to say it's gonna be a good day. <laughs> okay, so the powder I'm gonna be using today is the Elf Matte Setting Powder. This is a shade medium. Again, from when I used this, I've liked it since then. <laughs> I don't really want to set for too long so I'm literally going to keep this on for about 30 seconds and then just dust it off. I'm just not feeling a super matte face today. So whilst this setting powder sets and does its thing, I'm going to go in with my Morphe Filter Effect Powder in the shade Filter 11. I'm going to use to set the rest of my face. Hands down one of my favourite face powder for my skin tone anyway. And now we dust off the excess powder. Okay, so we are looking very, very flat. And this is in the cute side. So we're gonna go in and start bronzing. I'm gonna be using my Beauty Bay bronzers. I've got the shade Button and Chestnut here. I'm gonna mix the two together. And it's gonna give me a beautiful shade. This is what they look like, by the way. Button, Chestnut. I know you can't get Beauty Bay in store, but you can get them online and they're like dead cheap and they do like ASAP shipping as well so on top of that we're gonna go in with a little bit of Morphe Glamour Bronzer in the shade Leader I'm looking very very powdery right now so we need to like set our face to like make everything merge into each other and so we can look a little bit less powdery. So I'm gonna go in with my iHeart Revolution Watermelon Dewy Setting Mist. Did you drench my face in this? Do you guys see the power of a setting spray? Look at my face before and look at it now like, this is honestly one of my favorite setting sprays from the drugstore. So let's finish off our eyes and I'm gonna go in with my Revolution 5D Lash Pow Voluminizing Mascara. I don't know what lashes to use. Dun 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 dun. That one a thick lash. Dun 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 dun. This is the hardest part of my makeup. Is choosing which lashes to use. <laughs> this is too light. I need to give the girls some thickness. <sighs> oh my gosh. People are gonna think I'm weird. There is absolutely nothing soft about these lashes. <laughs> Nothing soft about them whatsoever. This is the best lashes I can do for now. I need to go lash shopping a sappy. Okay, so I'm gonna go back into my In The Neon Jungle palette. I'm gonna grab Island. I'm gonna tap it right in my inner corner. And I'm gonna grab Savannah, which is like a couple shade. I'm just gonna place it right in there as well. Go back into my Smart Cookie palette. Grab Love Chip and brown sugar, work down my lower lash line. Now I'm just grab passion flower again and a fluffier brush this time. I'm just gonna run it through my lower lash line as well. I'm gonna add a tiny bit of devil's food. Finish off with a mascara on our lower lashes. And then just to finish off my face makeup, we're gonna go into the I Heart Revolution Heartbreaker Blush. This is in the shade Kind. This blush is 
gorgeous absolutely gorgeous so let's finish up with lips i'm just gonna take off any makeup that's on my lips i'm gonna take them off you guys already know drugstore or not i go in with my nk lip liner in the shade coffee or cocoa and i go with my primer eyeliner in the shade brown just to give me my perfect lip liner ever since makeup revolution discontinued the all-purpose stick this is what i have resorted to and it has not let me down for lips i don't really know what lips to go for today because i'm actually kind of liking how my lips is looking right now morphe make it big looks like a shout no let's try her out yeah Go this in the door. Okay, so I'm not really feeling this lip combo, but if you guys are, I'll let you guys know what it is. So I use the Make It Big lip gloss in the shade Natural Born Kisser by Morphe. Then I went in with my Kika Milano Hydra lip gloss in the shade 20. And then in center of my lips, I went with my MUA Glow lip gloss in the shade Honey Honeyed. And then on top, I went with my clear lip gloss from the hair shop. And this is pretty much it, cousins. Okay, cousins, so we have come to the end of today's video. What do you guys think about this look? I love me some drugstore products. Drugstore products just shows why you don't need to spend so much on makeup for you to look good like drugstore products be hitting they be stepping on the high-end products next i swear to you guys i am honestly obsessed with this look what do you guys think let me know down below in the comment section let's have a little conversation thank you cousins so much for watching i love and appreciate you guys so much and inshallah i'll catch you guys in my next video bye cousins Mwah. Like the ocean, if it didn't know, swim my man some distance from the ocean. Wavy, like the ocean, baby. Yeah, yeah, you're looking like the ocean. Deep in my pocket, like the ocean. Bring out the money from the